oil change and um, check the tires and all that. See? So good morning, happy Sunday. Today is June 28th and, yeah, June, that's right. And I'm in my living room in the morning having coffee. I just meditated. Let me, let me see, what was it called? I use um, an app. It's called Simple Habit. There's a lot of them, but I really like this one. I meditated to, it's called Let Go of Anxiety. The thing about Simple Habit is they have all different meditation guides that you can choose from and different lengths and different topics and different focuses. And so I like to sit in this chair right here and look out this window. so that I can hear the birds. Or I would sit outside on the deck, but it's like the minute I go out there, it's, it's just 10 steps more into humidity. So, plus if I stay inside, my hummingbird feeder's right here, look. So while I sit here, the hummingbirds come right up to the feeder. So this is my little morning zen spot. So now that we're moving out of morning zen spot, Daniel is in his room. He was awake. I changed him. It was kind of messy when I first came down. Then he fell back asleep. So now I need to get him going because this is what I do. And maybe not. He is still sleeping. Which he can do. So we'll let him sleep. It's nice in here. Feels cool in here. Feels cool in here. So I think what I'll do is, I don't know, make, get his stuff ready, get his meds and stuff, and then figure out what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but good morning. It's peaceful. It's calm. I gotta think of some activities for Daniel and I to do today. Sometimes I get so full of anxiety that I get like unfocused on the weekends and then I, I end up exhausted because I'm like start doing one thing and then I start doing something else and then I start and then I just like I'm just finding that these days with everything that's going on in the world it's so easy to fall right into that feeling of like I kind of call it either being kind of trapped or just almost depressed because the world is you know so scary right now with this virus and you can't really do things that you used to do but you know that you need to be safe and so then you feel happy that you are safe and you feel grateful <laughs> and then you feel anxious again and then it's like ah so meditating really helps you to not like go to that place and also if I could just keep myself off of my Twitter, I'd be better. I just can't. I can't watch the news and I can't go on to like Twitter. Um, I, I like TikTok because even if they are political, they're only like a little short blip and you just scroll through and you can guide your TikTok to what you feel like seeing. So. If, you just want to see puppy videos, so they just put in puppy videos or pets or whatever, and then you do that, whatever, or funny dances or jokes or... The other thing is, the one thing we can do with our downtime is read books and read books. And I have just about half, eh, a little less than halfway through my Kathy Heller book on Don't Keep Your Day Job, which is actually a really nice compilation of her experiences and knowledge with the people that she's had on her podcast, also called Don't Keep Your Day Job. And now I need to get another book for Cape Cod, so I'm gonna have to start looking for, there's a couple that I want, they're just like, which one, right? Morning, boss. What's up? What are you doing? Did you make breakfast? Yeah. Okay. Just got super dark in my house because it started raining. Look, thermometers. I have many thermometers. And they all needed batteries because 
we do the whole vital sign thing. Look at the light change. We we're expecting thunderstorms, but it looks like just heavy rain right now. We, me and Daniel are just hanging out in the dark room, in the light room. I was just about to go put him back into the bed because after I took a shower, we gave him a shower and then he fell asleep in the chair. But now you're not asleep in the chair anymore. We were just about to go into our craft area and see if we could design some ideas in our brains because I'm a little slow today. I, don't know. I just ordered my Instacart groceries because I don't like to go to the store. So now I'm glad I didn't go to the store because it's raining. But I wouldn't have because I'm taking care of you. Right? Say hi. He's kind of like, Mom, I don't want to do that and I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. He tells me he doesn't want to do things because he does this. So then you go, you get him into bed and then he starts like giggling and jumping all around. And I'm like, no, you can't lay in your bed all day. Which is exactly what I want to do. But I can't do the other things. Henry is right by my feet because Henry is Thunderman. Afraid of thunder. So I was like, what are we gonna work on? So I don't know, I feel like I organize all my things all the time. I get my craft supplies organized. Other people come in here and use it and I love that. That's why I have it. But I find like this like disaster. I had like bins of all like all the things that I had separated into spaces or like dumped together and mixed up. Anyway, whatever, it's fine. But I have a lot of really fun things. I think I'm gonna make some like like a handmade wind chimey kind of thing. I've got all kinds of little bells and beads and I, I bought wind chime string. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. I just saw those at the dollar store. You can never have too many pipe cleaners. Everybody needs those. And googly eyes. Everybody needs those too. Come on. Got enough of these? You need some? Go to the dollar store. Wear your mask. Daniel John and a da 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 a whole bunch of little colorful beads. We have all different, and we saw this on Pinterest. We're gonna make a whole bunch of these strands, and then we're going to hang them off a stick that we found outside that we might paint. But we're gonna put bells and shells and whatever we can find. He's holding on to this good, too. Good job, Daniel. Good job. It's a little bit, a little bit dainty work. Oh, uh-oh. That's okay, it happens. That's why it's on a nice long string here. Nope, we got one little escapee. And a dog who's afraid of the thunder. You know who would like this? A cat. This is like a good cat toy. That's a good idea. We could put it on a stick and dangle it for Theo. Daniel, that's a really good idea. Let's do that. Isn't that nice? He's looking at it. Where is it? See it? You want to do more? You want to do my camera? You like my camera? You like all the buttons? Here, you hold it. Gonna... There's your little, your little widget. So we're going to do a few of these and hang them. He likes it. Look at him. He's like, thanks, Mom. You're just falling asleep again. Look, we're making Sarah. That's Sarah with her red hair. Okay, Grumpy. Your arts and crafts enthusiasm didn't last too long. Let's go in there and look at the groceries. Look how dark it is. Just another piece of good news uh, as things have been happening over the past few weeks here, seeing that 
caseload come down and that death load come down. So 15 Raining. Does the air feel good? It smells like summer rain. So right, Daniel is kind of um kind of mopey and sleepy inside. So before I get him inside to to do the late afternoon evening routine. Just a little fresh air out here. The wind is nice. Feels good. Of course, they were just going two seconds ago. Now they stopped because the wind stopped. That was cool, right? What about this one? It's a different style, but still does the same thing. And then there's this one. Hit it. Hit it. Well, they're not moving now because I put them here. That's why. So they decided they were going to be stubborn. There's those robins again. They must have a nest near here. He's looking at him. He's up on the. He's looking up there. The robin's up on the on the wire. Oh. Sometimes they're like right here, and we watch them get the worms out of the mulch. Right. It's nice out here. You see the clouds. Okay, weather boy. Yeah, you like the weather too. You're just like me. He's looking up there. Watching the clouds move. Fast moving. Those are stormy clouds, Dan. Storm. thunder and lightning today. Having um, more thunder and lightning storms. I was upstairs. I decided to go and paint and uh, this started happening and the dogs are all freaked out again. So I'm like, no, I'm not getting that much accomplished. I just was like, oh my god, where's my car? Then I remembered we dropped my car off to get an oil change earlier. Oil change and um, check the tires and all that. big one. Ah. You're okay, honey. You're okay. I promise you. It's just a thunderstorm. Hey, you got paint on you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Henry. You see the color, Henry. It's white paint. <laughs> oh, you got this one today. Every time I start vlogging, it thunders. <laughs> I haven't picked up the camera in an hour, and I'm just now, boom. Honey, it's okay. So anyway, I'm back in here working, and I have officially finished the ceiling, so parts of it is drying. So I went through it with a fine tooth comb and made sure I got all of it. And now I'm preparing to do all the trim, and I'm washing down all the doors, and I still have to wash this you just really, really clean it good, get all the dust and dirt off of it. The one thing that's helping me is that I was able to empty all the stuff out of the closet. So I'm cleaning out the closet, like I've got pine saw in there, I'm washing everything down. Make sure there's no cobwebs or anything that could get in the paint. And um, I gotta tape off the floor in the closet and get busy and you know this floor is in bad shape so I have to make some decisions what I'm gonna do in here whether I put a 
put a rug down or I might just get a quote on having someone come in and give it a quick refinish because I don't think I can do that myself. That's too hard for me. But it's a very small room, so hopefully it wouldn't be that much. But cross that bridge when we get done with the painting and that's the final touch. Anyway, I'm happy. I'm working. This is my podcast room where it will be. And um, feels good to just to, it's helping me keep my mind off anxiety because honestly, it's, it's really giving me a lot of anxiety that after March, April, May, we're in the fourth month since we went into quarantine and lockdown here. And a lot of places didn't, we're seeing on the news that their hospitals are filling up and their cases are crazy and they're having to now re-shut down or they haven't even shut down really I don't think a lot of them if they did it was very briefly and it's like here we were shut down we're still slowly trying to open our numbers are way way down in Connecticut and you look at the rest of the world and it's like or the country rather the world is doing okay it's just the United States is terrible that they're showing people the hospitals are filling up yeah, I see you beds are filling up. People are dying. Like, what's today? 129,000 people? I don't know. It's scary. But anyway, I'm having anxiety over worrying about it coming back full blown here. So, mm, got to keep myself going. Like, we worked really hard to get to the way we are now. And everybody's so safe here and so careful that you just see all these people who just you know now they're getting the numbers that we had back in March February March and they're like oh no everyone's getting sick <laughs> I don't know don't we learn from each other I don't know okay so I worked too hard painting today I'm so tired what time is it 8 30 okay it's not even dark yet but I'd like to go to bed <laughs> what do we got Einstein's what are you doing you're happy in here. You want to go to sleep? I'll leave your TV on. I'm going to put your alarm on. Oh, your camera. These are the best lights. Wow, I am so tired. I took a shower and then had dinner, sat down, and I was like, doing that. Like, fall asleep signature. Oh, okay. I'm gonna tuck him in and put on his camera, make sure he's perfectly comfortable, elevated, and all that. Well, talk to everybody tomorrow. I gotta decide if I'm gonna paint more or not.